Okay. Yali Malat, everybody. Nice to see you in the 2023. We made it. We are here. We may be a little bit overweight. Hopefully, a little bit underweight. We want to get there. But I hope you enjoyed your holiday season and you're back again to uh, do some workout, whatever we can do. And thank you for joining me. I know it's hard to join, but once you're here, I, I hope you enjoy. Okay? All right. So let's sit at the edge of the chair. Knees over ankle, straight line. The hip and the and the knee should also be totally straight. So if you are like this or too much like this, make sure you are exactly the same height as your hip and your knee. Okay, so your, that, that too should be on the same height. Otherwise you can put um, something under under your legs or under your butt to make sure that that's, that's accomplished, right? Hands to heart. We're just going to do a little bit of movement before we start and then we, uh, we can carry on. Deep breath in, inhale up. Right on top. Exhale slowly down. Back to heart center. Inhale up again. Inhale, 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 close your eyes. Exhale, nice and slow down, back to your heart center. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale up. One more time, right? Up as high as you can go. Spread out your arms. Right down to the side of your chair. Inhale up, scoop up that beautiful energy. And exhale right back to heart center. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale slowly down. This time forward. Arms, palms facing up. Inhale right to the back. As far back as you can go. Exhale back forward. Inhale out. Nice and slow. Exhale forward. Inhale out. Exhale back forward. Last one. Inhale out. Exhale back forward. Push your palms outwards as if you're pushing the air back. Inhale. Inhale. Palms together. Exhale, palms away from each other. Inhale, back. Exhale, out. Inhale, back. Exhale. Inhale, together. Exhale, out. Last one. Inhale, together. Exhale, out. Palms go up. Big breath in. Exhale, slowly down. Back to heart center. Inhale up again. Palms facing forward. Exhale slowly down. Look down. Arms go behind you. Inhale up again. Palms together. Palms facing forward. Exhale slowly down. Keep your back straight as much as possible. And then when, you're, when your arms behind, just look up straight and up. If you can with your necks. Inhale up. We're we'll moving our necks, our back, as well as our shoulders. And out there, inhale up, palms together, exhale slowly down. Inhale up, inhale, keep inhaling, fill up your lungs with all the air. And exhale slowly down. Inhale up again. Big inhale, fill up your lungs and exhale slowly. Exhale, 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 exhale. Keep exhaling, take everything out. Last one, inhale, inhale, inhale. Right to the top, inhale, keep inhaling, fill up, fill up, fill up. And slow exhale, slow movement of your air out of your nose or your mouth, whatever works for you. Right back here. Inhale up. Inhale, inhale, inhale. 
a lot of breathing. Breathing is good for your lungs. Expand your lungs. Exhale, 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 and heart, back to heart center. Put your hands on your thighs. All right. <clears throat> so make sure I don't lose this. And okay palms touching the all the fingers are touching each other everything is together press press as hard as you can till you find some shaking going on press and your elbows are up raised towards don't, like if it's hard then you go like that otherwise raise your elbows and and, your, and also a little bit higher like elevate your your spine don't be like this or this just hold yourself up up and proud and push 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 and let's push it to one side push 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 as far as you can move your neck your head and your eyes they look right at the back and then come back to heart center. Let's do the other side. Inhale, exhale, exhale, exhale. Turn as, far, as much as you can to your twisting now. Inhale, back to heart center. Exhale, one more time. Push, 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 push. Your back is twisted. Your, your neck is, look, uh, is also turned on one side. Your head, your eyes. And then come back to center. Inhale, do the same on the other side. And exhale. Very good. Bring your arms up. Palms facing each other. Let's go one side. And back to center. Other side. Back to center. And if you can keep your arms parallel to each other as you go down, then you'll feel more of a bend, a stretch on this side. But if it's hard for you, then don't worry about it. You can also be like this, it's okay. Whatever you can do. You only challenge yourself if you feel comfortable, if your body can handle it. Don't force yourself. This is not a competition and you judge your, your own body and your own strength, but never do things that are gonna be painful. Palms facing forward, slowly come down, come down, slowly. Look forward, back is straight, it's bent, but it's straight. It's not hunched. And look, um, put your arms back, inhale up. Exhale, come and touch your knees and then roll yourself down. Again, the back is straight, look forward. Now look down, slowly bring yourself up and to the side, inhale up. Exhale, come back to your knees. Back straight, roll yourself down, look down. Come back to your knees, arms up, inhale up. Exhale down, back to your knees, <clears throat> roll yourself down. This time, <clears throat> hold on to your leg or the carpet or whatever you're on, whatever makes you steady because we're gonna move one hand up. So inhale up, as far as you can go. If you cannot do that much, this is good enough. Whatever you can do, everybody's different. But as you go, wherever you're going, turn your head towards that hand as far as you can go. And then look up to your hand. Big inhale, exhale down. Let's do the other side, inhale up. Exhale down, one more time, inhale up. Exhale down, one more, inhale up. Exhale down, bring both arms together and let's do a little bit of a circle move with your lower back, your shoulders, your arms going forward and back. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale and slow movements. There's no hurry. Just make sure your, your shoulders are moving, your lower back, but the back is still straight. It, it doesn't have to be like this. Your shoulders are straight, your back is straight. You're moving from your lower back like a hinge, okay? And now let's do the other direction. Up, inhale, exhale, down. Inhale, up, 
exhale down and you can you can even move your head up and down with your movement of your arms slowly no hurry Hakuna matata there you go inhale up exhale down last one inhale up exhale down just hang yourself bring your uh, bring your uh, feet a little bit apart put your hands together down and look down and let your hands just hang down there from your shoulders from the shoulder area bring it outside your head and let them rotate look down head loose let the arms rotate one way then the other way very good inhale up and exhale down very good just bring your shoulders up let's do our shoulder movements <clears throat> slowly inhale up exhale down and when you bring them up try and bring it as close to your ears as possible <clears throat> inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down one more time inhale up exhale down and now the other way inhale up exhale down one more time inhale up exhale down inhale exhale one more inhale exhale brings arm to the side as far straight out there now if you're having difficulty with your shoulder it's okay to be right here whatever works for you but the highest you should go is the same height as your shoulder okay so your arms are out there let's do a twist 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 to one side then back to center other side twist is good for your lower back as well as your digestive organs because you're massaging it and they need some massage too as well as our upper body we need to massage our internal organs and there's a lot of organs underneath your rib cage so we are, when you do this you are actually moving them squeezing them getting the gas out whatever and it helps okay inhale up exhale slowly down just push your legs out both of them okay so come to the edge of the chair and push yourselves up very good and then bring your your uh, uh your toes up so you're on your heels so you'll feel the nice stretch in your calf area there and bring your arms up while you're doing that yeah, my my my, my uh, toes are still up and i bring myself down slowly and touch wherever i can inhale up again a lot of squeezing going on in your lower abdomen here okay so if you're at the edge of the chair don't fall off inhale exhale inhale again exhale inhale again exhale inhale again this time bring both your arms to one side and then the other side okay so inhale exhale to one side inhale up exhale to the other side inhale up exhale to the other side inhale up exhale to the other side inhale up and bring your arms down put your feet down and roll yourself back bring just scoot your your feet back to over your uh, your knees okay deep inhale and exhale <clears throat> hand to the side bring one arm up just one arm and cross it and put it on your uh, the opposite knee and this arm goes up and now go down one side so there's a nice stretch here a little bit of a squeeze here because my arm is going this way nice squeeze there stay there stay there inhale up exhale down bring both arms down the other arm goes across again inhale up and exhale to that side hold your breath hold your breath hold your breath inhale up exhale down let's do it again cross up and bend nice stretch there down again cross stretch and bend very good inhale up and down now cross both your arms 
and then move your legs as far back as you can. Do you find that you are stretching across now? Okay, so stay there. And then when you move back, put the other arm on top and now move back again as far as you can. And one more time back. The other arm goes on top. Stretch. And back again. Stretch. And back again. Just a, just a little bit of a cross for your shoulders. And arm goes out. Bring your hands to your uh, shoulders. And lift them up. Lift the elbows up. Inhale, hold it there. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Bring it forward and out. Forward and out. Forward and out. Forward and out. Smile. Inhale. Exhale. And then let's do a circle. If you do the circle, just keep touching your shoulder wherever it's easy for you, but better is to be right on top there at the way you feel the bone, just there. And then do the rotation of your shoulders, bringing your elbows together. If they don't touch, it's okay, no worries. And the more you do it, the more you're able to stretch. A couple more, make sure you're breathing. And then the other way, very good. Excellent, other way. And last one, inhale and bring it down. Bring your arms out, give yourself a nice little hug. Squeeze, inhale out, other arm comes on top, nice squeeze. Inhale up, bring your arms down. Put your hands on your knees or your thighs and just your head, the neck goes down, not too fast, slowly. And just feel that nice stretch on, the, uh, on, the, on your neck on the outer side. Inhale, <clears throat> look up, exhale, down, inhale up, exhale down slowly, inhale forward and side to side, one way, side to side, side to side, slowly side to side and then just go one one just uh, uh, put your head slightly down on one side and raise that shoulder up don't have to touch just raise it and when you've raised it and this arm is free put it on the side so you will be nice little stretch there and then come up again this time put your hand back go down to the other side Raise your uh, shoulder, the same shoulder, and then put your arms to the side. This is a nice stretch for your neck. And up again, look up, look down. Let's do a circle. All this area has become stiff from all this three, four weeks of holidays we've had. And slow movements, don't have to do fast. We don't want to feel uh, dizzy and then come back center and open your eyes, inhale and exhale, very good. Now just come to the edge of the chair again and we're gonna bring our hands out and our legs out and let's do the movement of your wrist and your ankle. So forward and back, up and down, up and down, up and down, very good. And occasionally smile Let's do a circle. So I mean, just rotation of your wrist and your ankle. One way, a couple more, very good. And then the other way. And if this area has not been uh, stretched for a while, you will feel a little bit of aches and pains. That's normal. As long as it's not painful, you do what you can, all right? And then put all your fingers together, put your thumb in and then all the fingers roll tight and then curl your toes at the same time. We don't curl our toes enough, but we should be doing that. And then open wide, open your fingers wide with gaps between your finger. Try and put gaps between your toes, so spread them out. And then curl, 
spread, curl, spread, curl, spread, very good, curl, spread. Now bring your fingers together and your toes together and then the other way. Inhale, exhale. And try to keep your back straight if possible. Unless you need the support, you can support you uh, get take the support from the back of the chair. Otherwise, just keep doing that. Inhale, exhale, inhale again, exhale, inhale again, exhale, and then bring your hands down and shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Very good. Now come to the edge of the chair, keep holding on to the back of your chair like this or to the arms, whatever works for you. And spread, uh, just extend one leg out. One leg is knee over ankle, <clears throat> the other, other leg is, is slided forward. Okay, and I'm at the edge of the chair, my hands are at the back or on the arms of the chair. And then just raise your, your toes up. So nice, you'll feel that nice little stretch there. Feel that nice stretch. And at the same time, when you feel the, just bring your toes up and see if you can lift yourself up a bit using your arms. Okay, so my, and I look back. Lift yourself up, only do what you can. And then bring yourself down. Same position, you can bring your foot down again and then up again and now again lift yourself up, look up. So my hands are doing all the work and I'm only supported by my one foot and the, other, the extended foot can go up and look back and do what you can, stay there as long as you can, breathe through it, look up and just a little bit longer and then bring it down and then sit down. Great. Then to the other side. Not everybody can do this. And if you can't do it, that's fine. Just do the stretch. You don't have to lift yourself up. Okay? All right. Again, extend. This foot is knee over ankle. This foot is uh, extended. And my, and my toes are up. So I'm, my heel is on the ground. My hands are on the back or on the side of the chair. Or holding on to the uh, chair uh, thing. And then just lift yourself up. Inhale, look up. And breathe through it. Don't stop breathing. So you're supporting with your arms as well as your leg, the one that's on the ground. And now lift up that leg that's extended. And just hang in there. Hold the pose. Hold it if you can, or go down if you cannot do it anymore. And slowly bring it down. And then slide it back in. Good. It's a good core exercise too. All right, back to the edge of the chair. My legs are extended and my legs are apart. Hip width apart, okay? Arm to the side, inhale up. Exhale down, touch wherever you can. Inhale up, nice and tall. Come to the other side. Inhale up, extend to the other side. Inhale up, palms facing each other, and bring it back down to your heart center, and bring your feet back together. All right. So now we're gonna cross our knees, our uh, our ankles, and bring your arms out. Inhale up, and come down while your while your legs are crossed. Inhale up again, and down. Use the other foot forward. Inhale up, exhale down, touch wherever you can. Inhale up and down, and then foot goes back in the uh, toes forward. Come to the edge of the chair, lift up one leg up, opposite leg, opposite hand up, and just stay there. You don't have to lift really high, just about three, four inches from the ground, whatever works for you. One hand is here, one hand is there. So I'm just staying there for as long as I can. Hold tight. Big inhale. Exhale. Just hang in there. And see if you can even extend your foot out in, in, in this position. Up without touching the floor if you can. Just do a couple more. Very good. And you can even put both your hands up and do it. Up and out. Push. Push, very good. We 
without touching the ground. Very good uh, hip exercise. And bring it down. Very good. Shake it out, shake it out. All right, let's do the other foot. So first, put the, put the uh, leg up. Toes should, uh, the foot should be not like this. It should be parallel to the floor, okay? Opposite arm goes up. Just stay there, stay there for a little while. Stay there, good. Stay there. Now, okay, push it up and up. Out and up. Out and up and you can put both arms up. Knee up, flat, up, flat, up, flat. Couple more, last one, flat and yeah, very good. Shake it out, shake it out. Okay, so let's cross our legs. If you want to keep it here, that's fine. Or you can bring it up here, that's fine. If you're here, hold on to your knees. If you're here, hold on to your one knee with both your arms. And if you can go to the third version, which is your ankle over your thigh with a gap in between, okay? If you're in this position, hold on. And some people cannot ex exactly go like this. They will stay like this but there's still a gap, which is fine because this part is very stiff, that's fine. So if you have any stiffness and you cannot go down, what you can do is go here and slow without force, just stretch by pushing it a little bit. When you push, you are, you are extending your, your, your muscle there in your hip area and you just go like that, up and down. So, so the idea is to stretch this area these are the glutes and this is where you, when you cross your legs, even in, when you're sitting on the floor, sometimes you can't sit on the floor because this is all very tight. Okay, so this just helps you. You can bring it back to your, with both your arms towards your heart center and then slowly push it down. Bring it back to your heart center, slowly push it down. So, so do that, even when you're sitting and watching TV, you can just cross a little bit and just bring it up and if that's all you can do then you can do this otherwise if you want to bring your ankle towards your thigh on this thigh and then i'm here bring your arms up big inhale up and this one what you're doing is great for your lower back your sciatica inhale bring yourself down inhale up <coughs> exhale down Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, and bring your arms to cactus. And so cactus, you know what I mean by my, the elbows are the same height as my shoulder. If they cannot be raised as much, then just go a bit lower. Otherwise, there's shoulder length. And then let's do a twist. One way, back to center, other way, back to center, one more time, back to center, last one, back to center. And while I'm here, I'll bring one arm down, the other one arm is up, and then reverse. Up and down, very good, excellent. Down, bring it back to cactus. This knee is up, so this elbow will go in the other elbow. So you can go like this and stick here if you cannot do any further. This is good enough. You cross your arms as well as your legs. And, but if you can go further with the crossed arms, touch the back of your palms together or palm to palm. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And just come down, back straight, look down. Go as far as you can. You feel the little pinch in the back, lower back. Don't go any further than that. If you feel a pinch, you stop right there. Again, one more time. Inhale up. Uncross your arms. And away we go. And fly, fly away. Excellent. Bring your arms together. Up, inhale. Exhale down. Hold on to your knee. Bring it towards your, well, towards your chest and see if you can Bring your head towards your knee. That's another squeezing of your organs there. Very good. And look up. Exhale down. Look up, inhale. 
Exhale down. And bring your foot down. Great. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do the same with the other side. So if, like I said, if you can stick here, that's fine. Cross your leg at the bottom and hang on to your knees. Or like this is good. And again, if you're here and you cannot put your knee a little bit down, then if you're just hanging in here because you're so tight, let's go down a little bit, push, inhale, and then bring it back to your chest. Push a little bit, gently, inhale, and exhale. Try and keep your back straight. Exhale, inhale, back together. And one more time, exhale, and then stay there. One arm on your knee, uh, one arm on your knee and one arm on your shin. And nice and tall, big inhale, exhale, come down as far as you can. Feel that nice little pull at the lower back in your glute area as well as your upper thigh. You will feel it, but don't go past it. Don't pass the pain. If you feel any pinch of pain, you stop right there. Big inhale, up, back is straight, shoulder straight, exhale, down, again. Look down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, arms up, and see if you can bring your arms down in front of your legs, inhale up, two cactus, again twist, one side, exhale, other side, exhale one more time, exhale, inhale, Exhale, one arm up, one arm down. One more time. Very good, bring your arms up. This now, it's a turn of the other elbow to go onto the side. You can go here, you can stick around here, that's fine. That works okay. If you wanna try and get your back of your palm together or palm to palm, any of these are good. Okay, inhale up, exhale down. So if you're here, you can go up like this, exhale down. If you're here, you can go up like this, exhale down or palm to palm, up and down, up and down. Last one, slowly up, inhale, slowly down, exhale, and come forward. And feel that nice stretch in your lower back, in your thigh, upper thigh area. Inhale up, exhale down, hold your core tight. Inhale up and release and away we go. And arms up, inhale, exhale down and bring your knee to your chest. Hold on to it like it's your best thing in the world. Look up, inhale, exhale, bring your head down towards that knee and see if you can bring your knee up further. Only what you can do. Inhale, exhale, great twist. Great squeezing of your organs as well as you moving your lower and upper back and your neck and your arms are you having some workout too. Inhale up, exhale down, and bring your foot down. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Great. Okay, let's get our our uh, our straps. <coughs> I hope you're doing okay, all of you. All right, so edge of the chair again. Feet on the ground, knee over ankle, toes pointing forward. Bring your arms out and bring the distance between the two arms, uh, maybe about two feet. And if you have a, a resistant bend, which expands and contracts, then you can bring it out as much and then slowly release. Inhale out. Exhale. So now if you can keep your arms straight, that's great. If you want to decrease the distance, that's okay too. Whatever works for you. If you're holding a strap that does not expand or contract, doesn't matter. You can still force it out and back in. Inhale. Exhale. I'm going to bring a little bit in. I can feel that stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Bring it on top of your head and then inhale, extend, and then bring it back. Inhale, feel that nice stretch between your two shoulders and your arms. Out, and then back in. Really good for you to do these. It's great for your muscles. 
for your bone density, this and the weights is amazing that you should be doing at least two or three times a week. If you're doing weights, make sure you uh, have one day of rest after one session because that's when you allow the muscles to grow. But if, with the strap, you can do it anytime. And down and up. Push, pull it with your lower arm and up. Pull with your lower arm and up. One more time. Lower arm and up. Nice and tall. Forward. Bring your, your strap barrel to the ground. And one side. Back to inhale. Other side. And center. One more time. And center. Other side. And center. Bring your arms up. And with some more distance between your two arms. See if you can even get it further apart. And see if you can bring your arms behind your head. I mean the, the uh, band behind your head. So you're rotating your shoulders. If you can't do it, that's fine. Just go as much back as you can. But if you can go further, then you can rotate. But don't force yourself, like I said, especially if you have not done this for a while, then your arms will be all stiff. And you don't want to force anything. It should all be a nice flow. All right? And up again. And this time, bring it up and down. Very good. One more time, down, and then bring your, your step down onto your thighs, and then just relax. Just shake your arms, shake your arms, shake your feet, and cross a little bit. You haven't worked in a while, so let's do a little bit of a rotation. Forward and back, forward and back, and shake it up, okay? Get all this little bit of stiffness out of our joints. Shake, 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 very good. Bring your, uh, your, your strap under, under your thighs, okay? And then cross your bend. Cross your bend, like hold, okay, hold it like this. Okay, hold it under your, under your thighs. And then cross. And when you cross, just hold it with this like that. So you can feel that the, the, the straps around your thighs now while you're holding it, hold it in the between like that and then extend your legs, your thighs as far as you can. While your, your back is nice and straight and then come back together. So you, your arms are working and so are your legs. There's a resistance between the arms because the arms are pulling them together and up apart and the knees are doing the same thing. So you're against each other. Very good, couple more. And you'll feel it in your shoulders and in your in your uh, thigh area there. One more. And yeah, very good. Now, just underneath one of your legs and hold on to your to your uh, bends on one side. Again, at edge of the chair. Lift your leg up as high as you can with your arms. And then you, your foot is going down. My arms are going up. So there's resistance between the two. Hold it there. Breathe. Breathe and then bring it down. Back straight, inhale up. Again, it's a great stretch for your biceps and triceps. And down, very good. Let's do the other side. Other side, very good. One more time. I'm uh, holding on to the strap and my other, my, uh, it's underneath my thigh. I lift it up. And while my leg is going down, Try and push your, push your leg down and bring it up with your arms. So there's resistance there. If you're not doing, if you're just doing this, it's not going to do nothing for you. You lift up and your, my leg is pushing down. So I can feel it in my arms. So you have to feel that. Up and down. You help it go up and down, but you, at the same time, you're resisting it. Very good. Last one. Up and down. Very good. Now. Release the strap, bring it underneath your foot, all right? Hold on with both your arms at the edge of the chair and bring your knee up and out. Knee up and out, knee up and out, knee up. And this time when you go out, I let go of one arm, the same arm is holding on to my, my, uh, my foot. Same arm is pulling the strap. 
and my other knee and the ankle is over the ankle straight big inhale exhale my arm goes out my free arm goes out I look at my arm and then I move my leg onto the opposite direction core tight breathe through it all the pose it's very good three-point move and you're pulling with your arms pushing with your leg and my arm is on the other free arm is on the other side I'm looking at my arm core is tight hold on to that the leg on the foot on the ground is solid down and then come back to center exchange your arm free arm goes out you have to the edge of the chair bring the knee over the across across your ankle or your knee the other foot is across your knee it won't go very far but keep looking at your your arm that's free and on to the other side hold the pose don't stop breathing and then come back to center <clears throat> up and down very good let's do the other side same thing holding on to my Strap with two arms. This foot is knee over ankle, flat on the ground. I lift up my knee and I go out, up and down. Very good, up. Let go of my same arm is holding on to my leg, edge of the chair, knee over ankle. This arm is free. Don't bend your, bend your knee a little bit. Don't be that totally tight to make sure your knee is not damaged. Pulling with my leg, pushing with, uh, pulling with my arms, pushing with my leg. Free arm goes out, look at my arm, and then move the leg to the other side. And keep looking at your arm, very good. Inhale, exhale, and then come back to center. Exchange your arm, free arm goes out, pull it across, it won't go very far. Hold the pose, breathe through it. And then come back to center, leg goes up and down, very good. Good job, let's do the weights, okay? <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Edge of the chair. And my, my weights are on my side. Edge of the chair, nice, back is nice and straight. While my, uh, my, my weight is down, I just go one side. And then come back up, other side, let the weight go down, one more time, up, last one, up, very good, bring your weight onto your thigh, lift up one leg up, and hold it there, feel the weight on, on your thigh, one foot is down, one foot is up, not too high, just about 3-4 inches is good, smile, and then bring it down, one more time, inhale up, hold it there, hold it, hold it, core tight, and bring it down, bring it up, and tap, lift, and tap down, tap to one side, and when you're going to the other side, see how far you can go, if, if it's not too much, then you can just go like, you cannot move too much, you can go like that, but if you can lift and go as far, you're doing more work, you're doing more stretch and you're building up your hip muscle, hip bone muscle as well as your tendons. You're just stretching them. Very good. Let's do the other foot. Stay there. Up for a while. Breathe through it. Very good. Now tap on the side and then lift and bring it back center. Tap on the side. Lift. Bring it back together. Hold tight. And don't take the support of the back chair, back of the chair if you don't have to. All right, very good. And bring it down, very good. Bring your arms down to one side. And we're gonna just go to lift up one. And make sure you're moving your neck to side to side. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Very good. Okay, weights on the side, we're going to pull them up. So make sure you are, uh, if when you 
bring them up. Don't go past your elbow, past your shoulder, okay? Edge of the chair, bring from the side. Go one. Don't go too high. You can go low, but not higher than your shoulder. One. Two. Three. Four. And move your neck side to side. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And down. Bring your waist to your shoulders. Again, you're sitting at the edge of the chair. You're going to bring your waist up and down. And look up and down too. Breathe. And soft, slow movement. No hurry. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Very good. Bring your hands down to your thighs. Look up and down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Bring your weights together and the upper arms stick to your upper body. And bring your weights right to your heart center. And then open up. Inhale one. And look side to side. Two. Without moving your arms away from your body. Three. Four. Four tight. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Eight. Very good. Bring it down. Pull your neck up and down, side to side. There's a bit of a circle. One way and the other way. Okay, bring your arms together and away from your body. And now this time you go out. One. And bring it back to your heart center. Two. Side to side. This time my upper arm is not attached to my upper body. Three. Side to side. Four. Look, turn your head. Five. Six, seven, and last one, eight. Very good. Bring your waist down to the side. Just look up, down, side, and side. Very good. All right, so now come to the edge of the chair. Bring your weights down to the ground to uh, put them down. And then bend your, your back, but don't like straight back down. Okay? Bring your weights right down to your leg, legs. Lift them up. One, two. Move your head. Three, four, five, six, seven, and last one, eight. Very good. Same position. This time I'm going to lift and then my elbow will go back like that. Okay, so lift. One elbow goes back, bring it back, and then the other elbow goes back. Go down, lift, one elbow goes back, other elbow goes back. Down, this time, lift, both your elbows go back, and down. Lift, back. Lift, back. Just the elbow is pushing back. Lift, back. Last one. Lift, back. Very good, bring it down. Just hang your head down and bring yourself up and shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. <clears throat> Alright, so one, let, let go of one way. Let go of one way. First of all, bring your weight in front of you like that and then let's do a twist. Or you can hold it like this and do a twist one way, then the other way. Pull it with your outer arm. Two, three, four, five, pull, six, two more, seven, last one, eight. Very good. Bring it down. Look up. Look down. Great. Now bring your weight with one arm up as high as you can. Go behind your head. Okay, go behind your head and with your free arm, push your elbow back. And you know where we're going with this. We're gonna go up and down. Look up and down. Keep holding to your elbow if you feel it's not steady. 
Okay, so you're just gonna lift up two, three, or just hang on there, four, five, six, seven, and last one, eight. And bring it down slowly, and bring it down, reverse, other arm, goes up, behind, push your elbow back with your free arm, and hang on there if you're not steady, if your arm is not strong, Otherwise, let go, whatever works for you. We're just gonna go up and down. Move your head up and down to two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And bring your arms up slowly down. All of this can be done for 10, count of 10 rather than eight. I do eight, but at home you can do increase by two all the time because it's good to do 10, at least uh, eight to 10 to 12, okay? All right, bring your arms up with, with uh, bring the weight up with both your arms and slowly come down, back straight and go down. Inhale, just a little bit of a stretch on your side. Very good. And bring your arm, bring your weight down and put it away. Excellent. <clears throat> Eight of the chair and have hands to your side. You can cross your arms. You're gonna get up, right? Like you used to do. Good one. It's really good for your uh, mobility that we get up and sit down again. Up and sit down. Now you can hold on here and do this up and down. You can do squats at the same time. Or you can leave your arms down, arms up, whatever works for you. Okay? I'm gonna put my hands together like hold on like this, like this and I'm going to push myself up. I'm using my legs. So I'm not using anything but my legs. Two. Put yourself up. Three. Four. And put yourself up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Let go. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, using my legs, 18. I'm pushing up with my back, lower back and my legs. What more time at? 19. <laughs> Last one. 20. Good job. And march. March, march, march. Cross your arms as you march. March. Very good. Cross your arms. And you do a little bit of squatting there. So separate your, uh, your legs hip, hip width apart. Okay, hip width apart. And you can put your toes a little bit outwards if you like. Push your hands back to your, hold on to your arms like this, okay? Squeeze them. And I'm just gonna push my butt down. So, just my butt down. My knees are not going to go, I can see my toes, so that's good. If I can't see my toes, that's not a good sign. So I'm going more with my lower back. Straight down. That's a good squat. Big inhale, exhale. Just pump, just go down, down as far as you can, and up. Make sure there's a chair behind you, and down. Make sure you're not going past your, uh, your knees not going past your toes. So more of it, my back is straight, it's more going down like this, this part. Very good. And one more. Two more. And last one. Very good, and up. Shake it out, shake it out. Let's uh, go behind your chair if you're not already there. Behind your chair, I'm just gonna go to the side. On your toes, as high as you can, your heels are high up, and then you go down. On your toes, and down. On your toes again, down. One more time, up. Go on your heels, 
and your, and your toes are up, so you're rocking on your foot, using your sole of your foot, massaging your sole of your foot, just rock up and down, very good, up and down, very good, good. Now, while you're at the back of the chair or on the side, make sure you're holding, you go on your toes, just the heel is about an inch up, and steady yourself, keep holding, so my toes are on the ground, my heel is up, I am going to be steady first, and if I'm comfortable, I let go of one arm, hang on to the chair with the other arm, and when I'm totally comfortable, and if I want to, don't have to, I will let go of my other arm. Look at a point in front of you, soft breaths, and balance on your toes. Amazingly balanced, good exercise for you guys. Squats, balance, weights, straps, stretches, everything is good for you to do. Try and do it at least two or three times a week. Balancing every day. So you may be a little bit of a, uh, you haven't done it for a while, you may be a little bit unsteady, then you can hold on. But I'm still on my toes. So I'm going to change my direction. Keep doing that. Look in front of you. Stay as long as you can. Stay as long as you can. Good for you. Making your toes strong, your feet strong, your muscles in your quad strong and then come down. Now lift one leg up. Hold on to the chair with one. With one leg not too high. Just about six inches. Stay there holding on to the chair with both your hands or one hand. Doesn't matter. Whatever you can do. I'm going to turn so you can see me. <clears throat> Just like that. And I'm holding on with two arms or one arm. Doesn't matter. Only when I'm steady. Only when I'm steady, I let go of one arm. Then I let go of other arm. Only if I'm steady. See how long we can stand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Oops. Yeah. I could send more like 20 now it's a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. If you are gazing up or down, you're gonna wobble. So look in front of you straight. Your gaze, eyes should not be like hard, like open like that. Soft gaze, soft breaths. Will make you stand longer. Really good for you to balance with the balancing every day and challenge yourself. If you do 10 today, 12 tomorrow, 15 onwards, and you can get better and better at it. And the more you bat, we all fall. We have heard about the falls. It's a part of life at our age or even younger to fall. Because sometimes you something comes in the way or you're not sure, you're not steady, you're gonna fall. But by being, if you strengthen your quads your butt area, your arms, you'll be able to take a fall a little bit more easier. And you can steady yourself faster. People that play pickleball, I've fallen twice, but sugar I've not damaged anything. But if the depth is different right now, the eyes are different, everything is different. Okay, let's do the other side. Raise your foot up, hang on with two arms, whatever works for you, or one arm. And only when you are steady, Look in front of you, soft gaze, soft breath, and then count yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You go further, but you, you get your own how long you can stand. One side may be stronger than the other, that's quite okay, that's normal. Okay, <clears throat> now back of your chair, hold on to your chair, walk back as far as you can, walk back as far as you can, spread your legs, and then put your butt out. So my legs are stretched, my arms are stretched, and I'm looking down. Butt is up, okay? As much as I can, push it, push yourself down. And then look up, go on your toes, 
and then back down and push your butt back inhale up on your toes and push yourself back down butt down inhale up this time I'm going to slide one foot in the front one foot in the back so I'm again stretched both my arms and my legs are stretched all right as far as I can go stretch 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 then on the back foot I will go on my toes toes and heels down toes and heels down everything is working good for you while I doing these stretches now when I've got enough of a stretch I'll bend my front knee a little bit as much as I can and you feel the stretch in your quads down there and I go oops sorry and then when I've got enough of a stretch I bend my front knee don't go past your toe just a little bit you'll feel that stretch in your hamstring go on your toes in the back one and then bend the back knee down as far as you can go very good lunge those are good lunges for your quads too People with hip issues, please be careful. And go down and up. Only if you can. Go down only, only as much as your body allows you to. And go back to the other foot. Extend back. Right? Stretch as far as you can go. Then bend your front knee. Don't go past your toes. The back, go on your toe and down. Toe and down. And now on your toe and then bend your back knee as much as you can and up again. Bend down and up and hold on to your chair. Bend down and up. Last one. Really good stretches. And up again. And bring yourself forward and shake it up. March, march, march. Okay, good for you. Now let's do this. <coughs> All right. March. March forward. March back. March forward. March back.
short of this uh, particular song and then we'll go into our meditation as always the guided meditation okay so just sit at the edge of the chair or no not edge just sit comfortable wherever you can hands to heart just follow me i won't instruct you i won't cue you just follow and do what you want to do i guess either follow me or do whatever you feel you feel in your heart okay continue to move forward with that if you give up you go into the deep dark hole inside of you it's very hard to get out of that so try and find the faith wherever you can to make you stronger and remind yourselves all the time everything is part of life there will be ups and downs in life but you can still carry on because with the strength that you you have gotten from your faith okay all right so we're gonna uh, do this uh, uh, guided meditation is called love. The love that we feel for each other, love that we feel for humanity, love we feel for our creator, love we feel for the nature, everything around us. So just relax, close your eyes and just enjoy, okay? <clears throat> One of the most real things in the universe is the energy of love. And yet it's one of the most misunderstood things. By growing that energy within ourselves daily, 
we come closer to the realization that that's who we are. So take a few slow, deep breaths. And in your mind now, think of a time in your life when you felt love. Think of a time in your life when you felt love. Just breathe into that feeling, allowing it to expand and deepen. Connect with that feeling of love. Imagine it like a light that's unfurling inside of you. Let it pour through your body as it opens you up to connecting with all of life. And gently hold this thought, all souls are this light of love. And in your mind, visualize and feel that feeling of love within yourself. Expand and connect with every soul in this vast universe. Just simply breathing into that feeling of love. to expand, breathing into it, and allowing it to expand as a light inside yourself, as you hold the awareness that all of us as souls are connected with this light of love. Now take another deep breath and return to your daily world with the intention to come back to this feeling and awareness whenever you get the chance. With that, open your eyes, bring your hands to heart, inhale up, Inhale up, spread the love to everybody around you. Inhale up, gather that love from everybody back towards you. Remember, this love is the energy that is helping us go move forward and back to heart center. I thank my, uh, my yoga, uh, Zoom yoga angels for always being there for me, for helping out, for spreading the uh, information, the everything that you guys do. From wherever you are in the world, you still join in. I really deeply appreciate that. I just want to make sure I tell you that. And I appreciate each and every one of you being here today. And inshallah, we'll catch up with you next week. Yalla madat.